Hey everyone, today I'm going to be summarizing module 4 of Anna Bay's 7 Step Formula to High Society. This module is all about making friends with the elite. This is awesome. This is where all of the social networking and the social climbing happens and this is the key to entering high society, the social networking. Work will always be in progress. You must strategize your social climb. Be charming and charismatic, pay attention and make people feel important. Invest your time in the right people. Be first to arrive at an event so it's easier to talk and meet people before they form into groups. Go to affluent places regularly, like five-star hotels, or you can sit alone. You can probably do this once a week. Go to a five-star hotel and you sit alone with your laptop. And you should probably go before 8 p.m. in the night. So go like during the morning time, during office hours. You can go to high-end restaurants as well. And sit alone or maybe with a friend. Mondays to Fridays during work hours are best to go. When you're trying to social network to meet affluent men, to meet affluent women as well. You can go to conferences and luxury events like horse racing. Making friends with women is something that you should also do as well don't try to all don't try to only make friends with men when you make friends with affluent women they can introduce you to their social network of affluent men of affluent women as well and it's all about building up that social network you can make friends with women on instagram who are on your level as well who are leveling up and this is all to expand your social network again because they can introduce you to their friends and that can also open you up to meeting these affluent elite people. Make friends with women while you're in the powder room. It's so easy to make friends while you're in the powder room or the bathroom at an event. And, you know, sometimes people just ask you to do something like, oh, can you just fix my zipper on the back of my dress? Or can you, like, do you have some uh, hand sanitizer? Whatever. They ask things in the powder room. And that is a really easy way to strike up a conversation and give a compliment or, you know, just get things started. You can navigate the elite community as an introvert by going out with a friend, like a girlfriend. And it's best to go out with someone who maybe isn't very similar to you, the way you look. Like if you're a blonde, maybe you can go out with someone who is like a redhead or a brunette. Uh, or maybe someone who is uh, a different kind of body shape to you. You can do that. That way, you know, you're not kind of competing against each other, you know. Another good way to meet people is to ask about the Wi-Fi connection. It's so easy. You can meet men this way. You can meet women this way. And not just regular people. You can meet affluent people, which is the goal of this module. Okay. So you go up to someone and you just ask, hey, I'm getting a little trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi. Do you know which Wi-Fi name uh, works? Or are you connected to the Wi-Fi? What is it? You know, like whatever. You figure out a cool, natural way to ask about the Wi-Fi. And that strikes up a conversation quite easily. You can approach a man subtly by asking for assistance with your luggage as well or do you know where the bathroom is you know that way he can say okay yeah it's right around the corner or you know turn left turn right walk straight whatever and then you've basically just kind of uh, opened up yourself to have a conversation with him and he can say oh well you know my name is whatever 
here's my card. I'd like to have a coffee with you sometime, whatever. The point is here to just have this first conversation, to make a good first impression when you meet these people. Okay, so another good way to strike up a conversation and make friends with the elite is to ask someone to take a photo of you. Most people won't mind to just snap a quick photo of you, unless of course they're in a great hurry. But again, elegant people are never actually in a hurry, now are they? So if you say, okay, um, can you just take a picture of me, please? I really would like that. Then uh, there, they can snap a photo and say, oh, well, you know, you look so lovely. Where did you get your dress from? Where are those shoes from? Or, you know, I really like your shoes. I really like your dress. That color suits you so well. And uh, that's an excellent way right there. Asking a question, maybe not about a photo as well. You can probably give a compliment like, you know, oh, wow, your shoes are so amazing. Or that color looks so nice on you. Your earrings, wow, so beautiful, so unique. And uh, like that, try to keep a conversation going naturally. You can ask questions. Don't force the conversation. If you feel like the person isn't really interested in talking to you, then maybe it's time to move on. Collect numbers and business cards. It's good to give your business card. Give a professional business card. You can befriend high-end women who may be able to introduce you to their high-end male friends. That is very, very interesting and uh, that's the way to go. If you're at an event like a conference and you're trying to mingle with people and there are a lot of people who you can potentially talk to, it's good to have your professional business card with you and also if you can maximize the amount of people you meet by minimizing the amount of time that you talk to each person. Maybe 15 minutes maximum for talking to each person. Like don't look at your watch all the time and actually track this, <laughs> okay? Just kind of, you know, feel it out and see when it's time to move on. You can talk to people who are alone at an event, you know, because maybe they don't have anyone to talk to or maybe they're just like being alone. But you can approach people who are alone and just introduce yourself, asking a question. The smoking area is an excellent place to meet affluent people at an affluent event. OK, not some normal event. You go to an affluent event and then you go to the smoking area if you can even tolerate smoke. If you can't tolerate smoke, then avoid this. And you can meet people there. People who smoke are apparently very easy to talk to. Another place to meet affluent men and women is the buffet bar or the restaurant bar. You have to be personable. Be easy to talk to, be a little uh, bubbly, don't be too serious. In every community, there is always an affluent area. No matter where you live, there's always that one part of the city that is just more affluent. So you can try your best to go to the affluent area. There are different kinds of people. You have the working class, the middle class, and the upper class. You want to try your best to mingle with the middle class and upper class. But of course, when you're social networking, working class also knows the different classes. So you want to try your best to kind of social climb in this very clever way. Business networking is something that is very beneficial and you can... Network for business on LinkedIn. You can follow affluent people online and see what they do. You can mimic their behavior. Align your life with the rich. I covered this in module one. Do what the rich people do. I will leave a link to module one in the description below. 
it's all about aligning your life with the life of the rich doing exactly what they do going to the places where they go you have to make more affluent lifestyle choices you can switch to a more upscale version of uh, the church you go to that is free you can walk your dog at an upscale park instead you can go to a more upscale hairdresser or nail spa even if you don't have a dog you can still go to the dog park just to maybe look at dogs and maybe there you can make some friends with affluent people because it's in an upscale area you can also start traveling to places where the rich people travel go to affluent beach clubs people are more approachable on vacation so when you start traveling to where they go even if you don't stay at the same hotel you go to the places where they socialize when they are on vacation mm, you have to have things in common so that is why you want to align your life with the rich do the things that they do if you can get connected with the people who are well connected the super connectors if you can make friends with super connectors that is going to be very very good for your social climbing and to expand your social network remember that your network is your network be open minded and give people a chance what to talk about hmm listen to them talk and what they talk about most of the times it can be really scary to talk to affluent people what are you even supposed to talk about but you can just listen to them what they talk about you can be a silent observer at first you will learn what to talk about with time so don't stress out about it don't stress out about what conversations you're going to have just go with the flow be curious ask questions appropriate questions okay ask questions about the specific situation or event like if you go to a polo event you can ask questions about polo or if you go to a golf event you can ask questions about golf or if you go to a conference you can ask questions about the specific kind of conference networking through your job that is something that is very valuable if you can get a job in an affluent area that is just killing birds with stones here did i say that right it's like killing birds oh my god let me stop this killing birds analogy do not kill birds okay <laughs> do not kill birds but if you network through your job that is like that's amazing the type of job that you have if you can get a job where you have access to affluent people, affluent women, affluent men, that is amazing as well. Jobs like a flight attendant. If you can be a flight attendant in a business or first class, you can be a personal assistant to an affluent person or in an affluent company. You can also try being a nanny. For a wealthy family if you are unemployed or looking for a job you can ask within your network about job vacancies you can also use LinkedIn to try to get a job an affluent type of job a job that will expose you to affluent people document your contact information on Excel so that you know where you met each person with relevant information if you meet someone at a conference or if you meet many people at a conference it helps to know where you met this person if you have a bunch of business cards you want to have notes on okay i met this person at this conference i met this other person at this polo event i met this other person at work and so you have information about where you met. So when you make 
follow up contact with this person you can say okay yes this this event was so lovely it was so nice to meet you there or whatever and then you know it's not kind of awkward the way you just be like hey and they're like okay I don't know where you're from so if you can just give like a little hint as to yes I'm so happy that I met you at blah 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 event and that is pretty much the end of this summary I think this was kind of fun for me to summarize I actually I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid a little to kind of social network because I don't know I just need to get over this silly little fear but I think I am making progress slowly but surely in networking and this sort of uh, social climbing kind of thing. I I don't know I'm just this really shy introverted person so for me the hardest part of this leveling up journey is kind of maybe the social networking because if I was maybe a bit more outroverted I would probably crush this social networking social climbing thing but don't worry even if you're not an outspoken person if you're shy you can still do this just you know network with people who are maybe also shy so it's not kind of awkward I don't know so yeah thank you so much and if you've made it to the end of this video please leave a comment below maybe saying networking if you can leave a comment below saying the word networking i will know that you have taken the time to listen to this entire summary and trust me i am just so happy when i see people comment below with the word that i mentioned to leave below because it just means so much that you know you actually listened and that you're actually interested in leveling up so thank you so much i appreciate all of you and goodbye stay tuned for the next summary i have three more summaries to do of this course so stay tuned for that subscribe like share goodbye